Hi everybody, happy Cyber Monday. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving, Black Friday weekend, and um, Cyber Monday today. Um, I don't know about you, but I have received a lot of great emails throughout the day. Actually, it started over the weekend about Cyber Monday deals. And one of them was Young Living Cyber Monday deal, which is really awesome, 20% off. Hi, Rochelle, 20% off Select Thieves, uh, Nisha, and savvy products. Um, so I'm actually going to start off with um, taking two ounces of my Nisha here. Oh, let's not show the hard rock emblem there. Two ounces of my Nisha here because I just got home from work. And usually by this time I'm pretty exhausted from my commute home from a long day at my day job. Um, luckily today, hi Katie, Trisha, and Gail. Um, luckily today my day wasn't too packed with meetings as it usually is um, and tonight I have a lot of stuff to get through <laughs> and uh, yes <laughs> that was a great shot I didn't really think about what that would look like if people saw me taking a drink of my Nisha Red <clears throat> Anyways, so I actually had poured the Nisha into a shot glass from here. I have the pouches right now. This is two ounces ready to go. Um, keep them refrigerated. They taste best. You just shake them up. My boyfriend just prefers to drink them right out of the pouch. And yes, it's so awesome. Um, I get an energy boost. So I actually, first thing in the morning, as soon as I get out of bed, um, I'm not as much as a morning person as I used to be. I don't know. It's probably just getting older and I'm still staying up sometimes as I was back in college. So I try to be better and get to bed be between 1030 and 11 o'clock at night. And then my alarm goes off at 5 a.m. But anyways, I drink this first thing to kind of help wake me up and then I go about with my business and getting ready. Um, so yeah, first thing, Nisha, it's super high in antioxidants. <clears throat> antioxidants are rated on the ORAC scale. Um, if you don't know what that is, Google it. Um, but essentially it um, rates um, how food and particularly fruits and vegetables, you, you a lot of things you find Oh yeah, Katie, that's a great idea. Freezing and popping the pouches in your lunch bag. That's a really great idea. I never thought about that. I'll have to do that. But anyway, so super high in antioxidants. I think on the Oryx scale, it's around 30,000. I think I, I put that in my stories yesterday. Hi, Karin. And compared to prunes, which I think is just under 5,800 on the scale, and blueberries, which are 2,400. Um, it's made from the wolfberry puree. Wolfberries are grown in the Nisha region of China. And one of the reasons why it's super um, nutritious is because the Yellow River from the Himalayas uh, flow down, oops, sorry, YouTube notification, um, flow down into the valley and are really rich in minerals and nutrients. <clears throat> so yes, I take this two ounce pouch um, at least once daily, as I mentioned, in the morning. Sometimes I do have a stash at the office and sometimes when I'm feeling kind of that mid-afternoon slump, I'll go ahead and take some as well. Speaking of Nisha, there's other products that are 20% off. Um, the Nisha Nitro, which is these little tubes. I actually ran out of them, so I don't have them on hand to show you. But essentially, there's these, essentially what it says, a nitro kind of gives you a burst of energy. It does have about 35 milligrams of naturally occurring caffeine. And what I've done with those in my mid-afternoon slump, if I um, have them on hand, is I will um, add them to my Nisha Red. And actually this container I have here, this is what I take to work. It's uh, a metal, a stainless steel container. And um, I'll just add some watering. I kind of sip through that throughout the afternoon. And that helps me get through um, the rest of my afternoon. It really came in handy um, the last time I was working 12 plus hours a day. Um, back in May, I was doing that for about two weeks. And, um, oh, that was my cat. Can you see my cat? Where? Say hello, Gracie. She's hungry right now, so I usually feed her, so she's a little upset with me that I'm not feeding her at the moment. 
Anyway, so Nisha Nitro, that's another great one. Um, I actually ordered today, um, I ordered actually the box of the 30 count pouches, which I showed you here, so a month supply. And I actually also ordered four um, bottles of the Nisha Red. So they come in about these glass bottles, which are about 750 mils. And then something new that I ordered, yes, my greasy kitty. Oh, Rochelle, you're gonna love the nitro. Um, something new to me that I ordered today because of the Cyber Monday deal is the dried wolfberries. So um, this time of year, once it gets chillier and I need a little extra um, to get me going in the morning is I'll have oatmeal, but I don't like just eating plain oatmeal, so I add dried cranberries usually. So once I get those, I'm actually going to try adding the dried wolfberries. So I'm really looking forward to that. So that is Nisha. Okay, so next that I have for you to show you is my Thieves products. So these products here are, I I, I'll say they're just awesome and they're amazing because they are um, non-toxic, plant-based, um, good for you, good for the environment as well, which um, over the course of the years, uh, I had switched to a brand about a decade ago because I thought it was better for me. I thought it was better for the earth, but um, comes to find out I was completely wrong about that. I highly suggest you go to the Environmental Working Group's um, site, www.ewg.org. Um, look up the brands that you're currently using, whether it's um, cleaning supplies, makeup, skincare. They are a nonpartisan site which will provide you with ratings um, of what that brand is. And it's based upon the ingredients within um, the bottle. That you have and a lot of times if you go through the list of ingredients everything will look okay and then there will be something such as the word fragrance which i have posted as well in my stories um, i've learned this year that fragrance which i never knew before is a word that many companies use to hide hundreds of harmful chemicals um, and it's just an umbrella term and for me actually i always grew up and actually as a young adult, <clears throat> even to this day or before I became a young living member, I would always say, oh, I'm sensitive to smells. <clears throat> I was really careful about certain candles, room sprays, air fresheners. There's only a few that I could kind of get by, but most times in general, I would get an immediate headache or I'd feel very nauseated. And what I've discovered is that's because of the harmful chemicals that are under the word fragrance. Um, things such as the scent of cucumber melon, if you think about that, there's nothing that's actually cucumber melon. That's actually compounded together chemicals to give you that scent. Um, my friend Katie this um, afternoon posted a fabulous video. I'm definitely not as great as she is with with how she walked through everything but she ended the video talking about how she had gone to i think it was a daycare or school hi joanna um and she saw a hand soap that was scented i think it was coconut vanilla snowflake and she ended up saying first of all snowflakes don't have a scent and secondly you know if you put coconuts and vanilla that doesn't exist together so what compiles um what companies are compiling together to give you that scent is pretty scary so anyways, Thieves, Thieves is based upon, <clears throat> excuse me, the essential oil blend that Young Living has um, that is a blend of lemon, rosemary, clove, eucalyptus radiata, and I feel like I'm forgetting one other blend now that I'm live. Just let me look, a oh, cinnamon bark, yeah, cinnamon bark. So this is based upon the legend of four, um, I believe it's 15, 15th century thieves in France that were going around robbing the sick and the dying at the time it was um, the time of the Black Plague, but they themselves never actually got sick or perished because of it. Um, they were eventually caught and one of the conditions um, for them not to be executed was to pass along what they were using and this blend is based upon <clears throat> what they had in combination to um, keep them um, going and not getting um, the plague like everyone else was. So Young Living has made a huge 
powerful cleaning line as well as personal care line with this blend. 20% um, off almost almost all of the items within the Thieves product line is um, <clears throat> is on promotion. And I'm going to try to see if I can flip this and I don't think I can and I just changed the lighting. I don't know what I did there. Give me a second. All right, here we go. Yay, better lighting too. Oh, I look terrible. So here you can see I have um, this here's the lavender foaming hand soap and I just have it here on display just to show you that it comes with the pump. And actually I'm gonna just show it comes out nice foamy like you expect. I'm doing that because Faye did a great demonstration. Hi Reva. <clears throat> But this here is actually the Thieves Foaming Hand Soap, which actually I got this one for free. I think it was in September with the Young Living promotion. And um, I haven't used it because I still have mine. I actually have this in the bathroom because my boyfriend really prefers that one. But this one here, this is actually the household cleaner. And it comes in this 14-ounce bottle. And I'm sure you're looking at this thing. oh, my gosh, that's really, really small. Um, I have been using this bottle since, I guess it was June when I started to use 100% um, the Thieves Cleaner. I finally worked through all my other brands, which, by the way, I had like four or five different sprays and cleaners to clean the kitchen and the bathroom, which, when you think about it, is a little ridiculous. But anyways, so I'm probably not even halfway done with this bottle. I'm probably, I think I'm right here with how much I have left. Um, and then I actually have two glass spray bottles <clears throat> that I actually use these for. Um, this one here, and you'll see they're nicely color coded. These were actually bottles I had bought in preparation of becoming a Young Living member earlier this year. So this one is actually the most diluted. I actually only have one cap full of this cleaner and fill the rest up with distilled water. And then this bottle I have is um, two capfuls of the cleaner and then filled up the rest of the, um, with water. And you can see I have still a little bit left of the more diluted one versus the one that I have super diluted. I pretty much use this for everything. I clean the countertops. I clean the sink. I'm not going to show you all the grossness around here right now because it does need to be cleaned. Um, bathroom counters, sinks, tubs, <clears throat> floors. I actually have wooden floors in my apartment that I'm able to use as well. I've actually also used um, the super diluted solution to help clean um, some stains off of fabric. Um, I do a little spot check, of course, with anything like that with wood or with um, fabrics, just to make sure that, you know, there's no reaction or anything. And I've actually also used it on some leather. I've had um, leather boots earlier this year because of the rain we got and I wore the wrong shoes and I had a kind of a white ring around my shoes and I just, kind of used a little bit and the white ring disappeared. <clears throat> Next is this fruit and veggie soak. Um, if nobody's ever used fruit and veggie soak from Thieves, this is the one thing I would say if you're going to buy anything, if you're only going to be allowed one thing, I highly suggest this. Um, <clears throat> I bought this back in May or June and I used it um, to uh, wash some grapes and I'll post um, in the comments later when I'm done I'll post kind of pictures of, of what it looks like the water it's really scary and kind of gross thinking how much um, dirt and whatnot came off of these grapes and to think before I was actually just rinsing my fruits and my veggies in water so that's really scary to think about that I was ingesting that type of stuff for so long. So anyways, this stuff, you just have to put it, um, I actually just do a cap full. I have like kind of a, a bowl to fill, um, you know, big water and put all my fruits and vegetables in there. Well, not at the same time, whatever I need to clean off. And then I let it sit for a minute or two and then you're gonna, you'll see immediately the water becomes super cloudy <clears throat> and then you just rinse and you're good. And you can actually feel how clean it is after you let your uh, produce soak in um, the thief soak here. So, and this is actually, I should say too, is all the products, Young Living products, these products they're super highly concentrated so a little goes a long way so that's why a lot of these bottles I've actually had for months um, because I've been able to dilute them 
and do a much better job with cleaning non-toxic plant-based. <clears throat> Okay, so the last least product I have is the dish soap. So I actually finally was able to switch over to the dish soap. I guess it was in August or September. I had last, well, around this time last year, did a huge Amazon Prime pantry order and stocked up on a lot of dish soap of the former brand that I was using and that literally lasted me until over the summer. Sorry, notification there. So this here, dish soap, it's actually really nice to know, and I've actually used other brands where after I wash the dishes or utens my utensils, I can actually taste the flavor of the soap, which if you think about, that's not great. <clears throat> This comes off super clean, sparkly. I don't have to worry about any aftertaste such as that. But even if there was, you know, that's okay. When you think, when you look here, I'm gonna bring it close. It says, caution, keep out of reach of children for external use only. In case of eye contact, flush thoroughly with water. If swallowed, drink plenty of water to dilute. I don't know about you, but none of the brands that I'd ever used before just listed drink lots of water you know, if accidentally you drink the dish soap. You'll also notice here that it specifies what it's free from, SLS, which is the sodium lower sulfate, which I had posted in my stories again. That's actually what gives soaps their sudsy properties or what helps lather. <clears throat> so this SLS is in a lot of stuff. So if you think about anything, shampoos, body soaps, um, bath and shower gels, just soap, anything that lathers, it most likely will have that. So look at your labels. Um, you can see here, Young Living is very transparent in what they use. Again, all naturally derived, plant-based, and what they're free from. Okay, so I'm going to try to see if I can switch this back around to me because we are going to walk to my bathroom. Um, and I'm going to walk through with you. Oh, my cat's meowing at me again because she's hungry. Um, I want to walk through with you the Savvy uh, products I have. <clears throat> so I did get, before I move on, the Thieves, I did get actually the laundry soap, which I have not been able to use yet. And that's because, again, I stocked up. And I'm finally at a point where I can switch it out. Are you going to join me, Greasy? Hmm? She actually likes to join people in the bathroom. I think a lot of cats do. But anyways, okay, I'm gonna see if I can place this. I've been asked before, um, and I don't know if that's gonna cover the microphone, so maybe I won't be able to do that. I've been asked before to do um, kind of a video showing my eye makeup, and I just don't have a really great setup to be able to place my phone anywhere to do anything. So I'm still working it out. I'm in a very small bathroom. I'll actually show you I have everything set up on this tiny counter here. That's all my savvy. So I wanted to be able to kind of show you some of the colors, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to open up <coughs> all the eyeshadows. <clears throat> I did get a few new ones. What I have been using the most is actually this right here. and It looks absolutely terrible and messy. Um, that's the eyeshadow palette that Young Living released <clears throat> in June at convention. And actually, that's what I've been primarily wearing. Um, the lighting in here is terrible, so you can't really tell what I'm wearing. I'm actually wearing um, that middle one where you see it's actually come to an end because I use that kind of uh more of a base before i put on more of the dramatic kind of pop colors because i feel like it kind of gives a little bit more texture um and shows up on my eyes a little bit more and then um so the pop colors which oh gosh my cat is getting everywhere deep charcoal which i think that's called ambition i'm wearing the purple one today and there's a rose colored one and then the cream shimmer at the end here another one you can see that i've worn through is because what i do is i i just dropped my savvy lip glosses um i apply it at the top to kind of help blend it at the top a little bit and then i end it i should say let me look for it it's wanderlust 
best kept secret yeah it's a matte one it's kind of neutral can't really tell as great here I know if I try to open these up one-handed I would spill it everyone and that would be really sad so this is actually I apply that first before I apply the eyeshadow palette and then I go over the top with this with the best kept secret because all the eyeshadow palette colors have a shimmer so I don't want to be looking like I'm going out on the town and just give me a second I like reach down which let's talk about the lipsticks next actually no let's go on okay so I actually got the it's called the everything nice eyeshadow set which was part of the young living's holiday catalog so they have this gift kind of gift bundle i had gone back and forth whether i was going to give it to anyone or use it for myself but i kind of really like these colors um this one is inspired so this is actually one of the colors that's 20 percent off i want to see if i can I don't know if you can really see it but it's kind of a has a little bit of a purple ish color to it a bit of a, a shimmer of it um I actually really like it I'm really looking forward to using that one then there is Wanderlust Lust which is another kind of neutral it it looks like it also has a little bit of a shimmer as well um and then the last one that was part of the set along with Best Kept Secret, is Overboard. And this one I'm really looking forward to. It's a, it's a little bit deeper than um, Inspired, uh, more of a purple uh, shade to it. So looking forward to using those. I use Cool Number no. 2 Foundation. Um, I ordered today also the Warm Number no. 2, which then I thought I probably should have done Warm Number no. 1 but Young Living is really great. They have really great customer service, so I'm sure as soon as I get it, if I don't really like the color of it or if I don't think it's going to really match with my skin tone, um, I'll just contact them, and I'm sure they'll be able to um, replace it for me. So those, the foundation, Cool Number no. 2 and Warm Number no. 2 are also items that were 20% off that I got on the promo. Another one is the Misting Spray. Um... This is a really great spray. It's super nourishing. It has a bunch of really great essential oils that are part of it that's really great for your skin, um, providing a lot of skin support and nourishing. So such things such as like geranium, bergamot, um, copaiba, cedarwood, black spruce, orange, lavender, lime, sage, okatea, and rose, which by the way, I splurged and I bought myself the rose oil on Black Friday. I never thought I was really going to do that, but I splurged on that. So I got the misting spray. So the misting spray is actually really great. Um, it uh, helps to pick up the <clears throat> makeup onto your brush because the Savvy Minerals is mineral based and um, I've actually also used it to apply this is actually the um, eyeliner I use so you can see that I have some on my upper lid and it's actually a powder it's a mineral um, and I've seen that you can apply it both dry and wet with misting spray I prefer to do it <clears throat> wet with the misting spray which it did take me a while to get used to because I had been using a pencil kind of a smudge stick kind of sort of way so it was really easy you know glided on really easily so moving on to an eyeliner that required a little bit more work with um, especially a wet eyeliner I had avoided those because I never could figure them out um, but now I've been doing it for about two months I guess not too bad not to say it's always, you know, perfect every day, but it does the job. And then my blush, I got this actually back in February. <clears throat> One of the first orders on my essential rewards because I thought I was going to run out of my blush. And I didn't until about, I guess, June or July. This is called I Do Believe You're Blushing. It's kind of hard, but you can see it gives me a little bit of a pink tint here. And then I also use the natural mascara that Young Living has. Um, I used to get my eyelashes done, meaning I used to get extensions, which, you know, was really great because 
I never had to worry about mascara or anything, but the problem was is that they were really harsh on my eyelashes. So much so that they would like, they would break them off because essentially they're glued right onto your, each individual on your eyelashes and they're quite pricey too. So um, I moved away from that, found out this mascara which I really like uh, and I've also heard that using the Diamond Dust Veil that Young Living has, that if you apply it to your lashes in between coats of your mascara, that it helps it appear um, fuller and uh, longer. So that will be my next project. Okay, so next is the lip glosses and the lipstick. So I did not buy the lipsticks that were on um, the promotion today. However, it is on my radar to do some, to buy more of them. Right now I only actually have the Cinnamint, <clears throat> which is kind of like a wineish color. I'm not wearing it today, but it's, it is the color I wear most often. And I usually apply it um, with uh, a lip gloss on top. So I either use Abundant, which is, you can see it's kind of this light pink neutral. It's really great. Um, I also have like a neutral look when I just wear this, nothing else. Um, I wear Best Kept Secret on my eyes, eyeshadow, blush, everything else I have, and then this is what I wear. So that's a really great, and it actually tones down Kind of the burgundy burgundy redness of the the untamed sentiment so the sentiment line is actually vegan um, for those who um, would like to know that um, and then one of I got two newer ones I actually got this one I went to one of my friends uh, Kate Aliado she was having a gathering uh, a DIY event a couple weeks ago and I ended up winning one of these so this is um, anchors away lip gloss and um, I really like this I haven't worn it by itself yet but I have worn it with, on top of the untamed and it really brings out the richness of the red and the burgundy from the color because this is a little bit more of a red kind of a brick red and then the last lip gloss that I have <clears throat> is Rockin. So Rockin was released with Young Living's uh, Savvy Holiday Collection last year, but it wasn't available for an individual sale until the holiday catalog was released um, back in October. So I jumped on this because this was a color for me, 100% me. That's what I'm actually wearing today, and I'm actually only wearing Rockin right now. So it's kind of that fuchsia hot pink color. Um, so really perfect for nights out if you want to go holiday parties and whatnot. So that's essentially my Savvy um, collection at the moment. It's growing. Um, the other thing I did get with Savvy today with the 20% off was um, Freedom eyeshadow, which is kind of a, a darker kind of army green color. Um, I've never worn, hi Karina, I've never worn um, a green eyeshadow, so I'm very excited to see um, what that ends up looking like. Um, I would say that I have been using kind of the same makeup colors technique probably since I was in early high school maybe even earlier than that. And so I was probably due for um, a reboot of makeup and what I apply. And I would say that Savvy Minerals has allowed me to really experiment with the colors. Um, one thing I am going to be doing is not only with the eyeshadow, but definitely with the lip color because I used to have tons of different lip colors, um, whether it was lipsticks or lip glosses, and I just haven't gotten there yet. But I do plan to do that within the next few um, months. <clears throat> Excuse me. But um, I would say the thing is, is I've definitely gotten into kind of having more fun with applying my makeup. Um, ways I wasn't, you know, into that much before. Um, as I mentioned before, I used to get eyelash extensions. And so I actually stopped wearing eyeshadow entirely and sometimes a little bit of um, eyeliner because one of the things about getting eyelash extensions is you couldn't use eye makeup removers or you had to keep oil away from your 
eyelashes because then they, they would just fall out um which i wasn't gonna spend that much money for them just to fall out so anyway so i just kind of bypassed doing makeup in general um i just would just have my eyelashes essentially which it was great people thought i was wearing makeup um eyelash or my mascara but i wasn't um so that's the one thing there is I've been having more fun with makeup. And the other thing is knowing that it's non-toxic. It's not, you know, being absorbed in my body, which all the makeup I was using before. Um, if you look up your brand's um, makeup that you use today, you may find um, harmful chemicals such as talc, bismuth, parabens, phthalates, uh, mineral oil, which is a derivative of petroleum, which is really terrible for all of us. Um, and Young Living Savvy Mineral has none of that. It's 100% um, pure mineral-based makeup. Uh, just a reminder of you for everyone that if you are not yet a Young Living member, I can help you with that. Um, I'm still offering um, options of two gifts. If you per enroll and purchase your premium starter kit with me, which it can be any premium starter kit, whether it's the one with your choice of a diffuser and the 11 oils, or there's a premium starter kit that you can start with the Thieves, Savvy Minerals, <clears throat> and Nisha Red, the products I went through today. Um, I will give you either a 5ml bottle of Christmas Spirit Essential Oil Blend, which is my favorite blend to diffuse at the moment. It's a blend of orange, cinnamon, and black spruce, and my cat is playing with the plastic bag of cotton balls. Um, okay, stop that. <laughs> For some reason, she likes to try to eat plastic. Um, and along with that, you can get a $15 Amazon gift card. Um, so the Chris, Christmas Spirit Blend and a $15 Amazon gift card. And uh, Amazon is where I go to get a lot of my items, materials for my DIYs. So you've probably seen some of the things I posted, like sugar scrubs. Um, I went a few weeks ago to Kate's um, to do a, a, a different DIY. And we were making glycerums and bath salts, which was a lot of fun. So I've been getting into doing those a lot more too. Um, or you have the choice of a $25 Amazon gift card. So I will give that choice up to you. So those options for a gift are available or good till 10.59 p.m. Pacific time. Tonight goes along with the Cyber Monday deal. Um, and if you want to customize your kit, I can help you do that too. Um, Young Living has an option that you can still become a wholesale member and get the 24% off all Young Living product. And you can choose from the items today that are 20% off between um, whether it's Savvy Minerals Makeup, the Nisha Red, or the Thieves cleaning products. And I just realized I forgot to talk about what I have in here. I do use <clears throat> the Thieves mouthwash. I've been using that since June. And then I'm using also the Thieves toothpaste. This is what happens when I don't set everything out before I go live. Um, I've been using the toothpaste since I think September. And um, I love it. My teeth feel super clean afterwards, very polished. Um, I also add a drop of orange um, vitality oil, which orange is um, known to help uh, naturally whiten your teeth. So we all need that as we what, drink tea and coffees and that type of stuff. So anyways, I can help you customize your kit. Um, send me a message, um, comment here. If you have my email and or cell phone, feel free to reach me that way too. And I'm more than help, um, happy to help set you up. Let's see if we can get a view of Gracie and say goodbye. Can you say bye, Gracie? Nice view of my toilet. Say bye. That's my cat, Gracie. All right, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful Monday night. Um, thank you for joining me. And I will see you all again soon. Bye.